Welcome to Tech in the Car. In this video, I'm going to show you around the amazing Tesla Model 3. Big thank you to Clive for letting me use his Model 3. He's made these Tesla videos possible, so thank you very much to him. And if you want a Tesla, please click on his referral link below. The Tesla Model 3 has a 15 inch display and it's a big display, it allows you to see very clearly what's going on and it's a higher resolution and sharper than a Model S display, at least on the one that I filmed in my last video. What's different about this is very much the design, instead of being the other direction it's now facing you more like a laptop computer and you've got the screen divided into two so on the right hand side you have your car status screen which gives you information about the speed and the gear you're in and various other settings and then on the left hand side you have your maps and all the other fun stuff which tesla packs in which we're going to go through in this video let's start with the car settings if i press on the car settings here we go into this and we have our quick controls we've got our exterior lights off auto and headlights and side lights you can also turn your fog lights on and off as just like in the tesla model s you can adjust your mirrors so this is different from the model s it allows you to adjust your mirrors using the controls on the steering wheel and i can tap on it to go between the two different directions and i can turn the auto tilt and auto fold functions off this is really easy to use much better than other cars where you're not really sure what wing mirror is going to be activated Go to steering wheel, I can adjust the steering wheel settings and position. And I have a profile set up on here, which means that those settings will automatically be saved. So I can push it out, I can push it back. And you can see in this video how it works. So this is uh, very, very cool, very interesting. So you have quick settings to my settings, if I click on Oliver here. Window lock, I can lock the windows and the display brightness. So right now the display brightness is at 50%. It's not on auto because we want to keep it at the same level, but you can see very clearly there what's happening. Glove box, so I can open the glove box using the button on the screen, that's cool. Let's go into our light settings. So the quick controls will an overview of the main function that you're most likely to use. This is now more in detail. So we've got our light settings, same as before. We can turn our dome lights on, off and auto. We've got our ambient light settings, so we can have it on or off. We have auto high beam, headlights after exit, and your steering wheel lights as well. You can do the window lock here as well, and child lock to lock the back seats. And you can add keys using the mobile app or using your key fob or key card. And you scan the new key behind the cup holder to begin, and then it will let you add it. Walkaway door lock, can be on or off, unlock on park, Car left open notifications. A mobile notification will be sent if the front trunk, the rear trunk, or any door is left open for 10 minutes. If the car is locked, a notification will be sent if any window is open shortly after leaving the car. Exclude home. So that's pretty awesome. It sends you a notification. Display settings. So we've got auto, we've got night, which will make it dark like this. And we've got auto, which takes us back to where we were before. We've got screen clean mode. I want to give my screen a clean. It's dirty. Here we go. I can wipe it down like this. No problems. No worrying about hitting any other settings. And then I can hold to exit. And in three, two, one, and now I'm back to the main menu again. Change the language time format, the energy display, the distance, temperature, and tire pressure. Driving. So the Model S I showed you previously was not able to choose sport mode for acceleration, but here we go, it's set up with sport and sport steering. So you've got really fast acceleration. You also have your regenerative braking settings and your stopping mode. So I mentioned this before, in a traditional car, when stopping the car, when pressing the brake, it will tend to creep forward unless you have auto hold set up. In an electric car, that doesn't happen because there's no engine to provide that torque to keep it moving forward. So you can choose to have it so it acts like a traditional car where it moves forward, 
slightly, creeps forward, or you can have it so it holds, or you can have it so it rolls when pedals are released. Hold keeps it so when you stop, it stops. We've got our slip start setting, which will help if the car is stuck in sand or snow. Autopilot. So here you can adjust the cruise follow distance and you can actually see here on this screen, it will show you that distance. You can see that distance on here. I'll put it back to how it was before the three. Auto steer is on, self-driving visualization preview is on, the speed limit warning, right now it's on the display, but you can also have a chime. You can choose between that being relative or absolute and you can offset the amount of speed that it gives you a warning for. You've got your forward collision warning. It's on medium right now. Your lane departure avoidance. So it will correct the steering so you stay in your lane, but you have to pay attention, of course, because that's really important. Even if you have a Tesla, you keep your hands on the steering wheels at all time. So the self-driving features are there to assist you, not to replace you. Emergency lane departure avoidance, blind spot collision warning chime, which will give you a chime if you're trying to change lanes and there's a car in your blind spot. You've got your automatic emergency braking, which will brake for you if there's a car or an object in front of you, and your obstacle aware acceleration. So Tesla really leads the way in safety features, and you have a lot of control over them. Let's have a look at navigation. Automatic navigation, working with your calendar, your trip planner, which will add stops with superchargers, which we'll look at in a little bit, and online routing, which takes into account traffic, and if there's more than two minutes, it will reroute you, and you can adjust this at five, 10, 15. I wonder what the maximum is, 30 minutes, and one minute is the most. You can have it so it avoids ferries and avoids tolls as well, although being an electric car, most electric cars are exempt from toll charges. Safety and security. You can power off the car, you can set a maximum speed limit. Sentry mode, which I've mentioned in the previous video, but it uses the cameras and the sensors to work like a dash cam, like a security camera, keeping an eye on your car, making sure that, so if anything happens, you'll get an alert to your phone that will tell you there's somebody there. And of course it will save it to the car as well. So you can have that footage. Here we go, dash cam, which will save your clips on honk. So when you press the honk, anything that happens will be saved. And you can turn your front airbag on and off as well. Wiper service mode, that will open up the wipers so you can get to them, the owner's manual, adjust the headlights if they're too high or too low, reset the settings, wheel configuration, which will adjust your car settings depending on the wheels you have. And you can see you've got Aero Sport Performance, Performance Gunpowder, Aero Cap Kit, and Zero G Gunpowder. So we've got the Aero on here. You can adjust your notifications. You can adjust your camera calibration. So this is using the camera in the autopilot. It allows you to adjust the calibration if the performance is affected by a dirty windscreen or from some other reason. This is something which I've never seen on another car, a really clever feature and you've got your factory reset. This car is called Marvin because of the paranoid Android from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Autopilot is included with this package. Acceleration boost. So this can do zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. Premium connectivity, which allows the use of the various features that we've mentioned And then we have our release notes, which are the latest features. So this just had an update this morning and it's had car left open notifications, closed windows on lock, notification history, third party charging stations, and new language support. And I've been told there's another update coming shortly as well. And you can adjust your software update preferences, whether you want them advanced so they get updates as quickly as possible. I can't imagine anybody that has a Tesla doesn't have it on advance because anybody that buys a Tesla knows that they're getting all this awesome tech in the car. So those are the quick controls. Let's go into our music. We have radio and you can choose your favorite stations and you can direct tune, FM and DAB digital radio. You can connect it to your phone using Bluetooth. You have karaoke so you can sing along to songs do duets, it shows new tracks, 
party mixes Disney songs so this wasn't on the Model S you've got tune in radio which lets you to listen to podcasts in your car over the internet and then you have Spotify and of course you can search for your favorite artists this is my favorite artist so I can save this and I can create a radio station with similar songs like that as well and I can see new releases featured playlists this is included with the car you can obviously connect your own Spotify account if you want to so that's music let's have a look at the settings menu for the other cool stuff that Tesla has we have our toy box so we had a look at this before in the Model S. You can see lots of the functionality is still there, such as the fart on demand and fart on turn signal. Very sophisticated, but you know, emissions testing is very important in an electric car. You've got tracks. So this is very cool. This wasn't again on the Model S I looked at. It lets you record music. Let's have a little look at it. Cool. And then I can exit out of this by pressing up there. We got romance mode. Very romantic and appropriate for Valentine's Day, or I guess if it's a cold night and uh, you're on a date in the car. So romance mode. We've got our sketch pad. And I am right handed, so it's a bit hard to type left handed but we'll give it a go, tech in the car, there we go, subscribe. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, is there anything you want to know about the Tesla Model 3? And please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, stay safe and thank you.